I am Nicole. I am your Empowered Lifestyle Coach. And I want to discuss something that kind of contradicts and people don't understand how to actually get it to work. Like, have your prayers answered, manifestations, how do you level up your frequency of a human? How do you have so much faith in God? How do you surrender to Him? And the answer is inspired action. And you have to live in the version of the person you are praying for or manifesting for, right? Like, you can't just keep living in this lower vibrational mindset in this very negative mindset and not doing inspired actions day after day after day to rewire your subconscious mind to actually start shifting your frequency and the level of life that you're living whatever that is it doesn't have to be what my like yeah i want to like help the world that's my dream it's okay if you just want to be at home and take care of your kids. The world needs you still. The world needs you to show up for who you are. But that doesn't mean that like you can't just get angry that your manifestations and your prayers aren't being answered and you give up time after time and then you have these negative mindsets and you go in the cycle and you never keep moving forward because you're not actually doing the work of like living in that person you're praying or manifesting to become. The one thing is that I always get back up the next day and I'm consistent. And that's why I know that I am always protected and provided for. And no matter what situation I'm going through, life always works out because I believe it. I treat myself well. That includes eating healthy, working out, getting adequate sleep, right? Taking the time to meditate um, and giving myself some me time away from my children. There's things that I have in place every single day that makes me able to wake up the next day, no matter what life is throwing at me. I have developed that system for myself and that's what you need in order to actually manifest or have your prayers answered. And guess what, man? It doesn't matter who you are. Life is hard and there's pain. And the thing is, is how do you react to this pain? How do you respond? You can't keep responding the same way. And going down this road of when you're triggered, you, you know, you cope with food or substances. Uh, if you're depressed, you have anxiety. Well, you got to take some action to get out of that, to learn how to not keep going in the same cycles or you're never going to manifest like the wealth that you want or, you know, the um, abundance of whatever you are trying to reach, whatever level of happiness. I mean, if you want to go live in the mountains and have a farm and just be you and your family, that sounds amazing to me, actually. Manifest it by doing daily actions of shifting your subconscious mind and inspire yourself to win. These little small wins will help your confidence grow substantially because you're getting up and you're being faithful to yourself and honorable to yourself. And that's what God wants. That's what your higher power wants. That's why I know <clears throat> that I'm going to be okay. I'm not out screwing people over and manipulating my way through this. I'm not, you know, I work hard every single day and I do what's best for me and my mind and my body and my soul and my family and the legacy I'm building and to help people because I know there's so many people out there that feel so alone and abandoned and they lack this love for themselves because I have been there. And man, it sucks and I still have thoughts like that.
There are days that I have to just tell myself, Nicole, that, that's your old self. It's time. You got to get out of it. You can't keep thinking like that. And give yourself time. It's okay. You're not perfect. We're human. It's a matter of learning how to cope and respond in a healthy manner to keep the peace, keep your like sanity. And just remember like that pain that happens, it's not like against you. Like it's actually for you to help you grow and to help you evolve to become a better person, to help you lean on God when you need him and times of like despair. It shows you the strength and the resilience that you have inside of you, that you were given. It's a gift. And all along, you're just saying, oh my gosh, poor me. Why does this keep happening? And it's, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. It's time. You start, you know, wake up every day at the same time and make your bed. Why don't you just start with that? Let's make some wins, some small little wins and get this inspired action. And if you don't have a higher power, that's okay too. I am a testimony for God to show you that if you show up for yourself and you live by his, like the universal laws or his laws, whatever you want to call them, and you treat people well, you will be protected and provided for. If you manipulate people and you steal and you lie and you cheat on your wife and you, you know, you, you're dishonest with yourself about who you truly are and you're living masks after mask after mask. What do you expect? Karma's, there is karma. There's karma, there, there's consequences to good and bad in all forms. That's energy, that's science. Just be aware of the awareness of not having your prayers or your manifestations answered. It's because of something lacking in your day and the way you're talking to yourself and you're not living or you're not actually producing action on a daily basis to create it. That being said, I hope you all have a lovely day.